500 for the first time this season, courtesy of their first three-game winning streak of the season. As we just heard Ian say as well at Barclays Center, they have won their last five straight at home. Let's see how they sealed the deal tonight against the Wizards. Down the stretch here in the fourth, Kyrie Irving with the layup. Uh, he misses, but Royce O'Neal with the rebound feeds it to Joe Harris. He had been 5 of 30 from three his last five games. Four of six tonight, third time this season. He's on 99 at that point. We take a look at some numbers for the Nets. A five-game home win streak, as we just said, the longest since March 11th to April 7th of 2021. The first three-game win streak this season, as we mentioned, and 12 and 11 record, six and two in their last eight. And of course, it's their first time being over 500 this year. Tonight's win featured more brilliance from Kevin Durant. If the Nets continue their surge, perhaps we'll hear his name in MVP talk as the season moves down the line. Now, Durant himself recently said, been there, done that when it comes to MVP, but that certainly will not stop us from praising his excellence. He hit the ground running by scoring 16 points in the first quarter, his highest total in the first this year. It's the highest total for any net in the first. Then after he sat for a chunk of time in the second and scored a few more points just before the game reached halftime, Durant picked things up right after the break and put together another quarter of double-digit points in the third. He scored 10. Eight came in the last 247 of the second. He helped Brooklyn hold off Washington for the victory, giving the Nets another win over the Wizards after they previously beat them in D.C. November 4th. KD fell a rebound shy of a triple-double in that game while his rebounding and assist totals were not as big this, this evening against the Wizards. The points were flowing, and Jacques Vaughn loved it as much as Durant himself. We take a look at the easy money sniper over his last three games. He's only shooting 69% from the field during this homestand and averaging 38.1 points per game. And oh, by the way, his three-point percentage has dipped a little bit this season, but during this homestand, shooting 57% from downtown, he's 8 for 14. Kevin Durant absolutely resuscitating this net squad. And meanwhile, had more tries from the line with 34, but... They missed 11 of them, and in the game, it was only decided by six points. Those misses, obviously, were huge. Chris Sheeran back here in our ES Network studios on the Brooklyn Nets uh, postgame show. The Nets win 113-107, extending their winning streak to the longest of the season. That's three games. Going to head back now to Barclays Center, where Ian Eagle and Sarah Kustak will give us their final thoughts of the game, and I'm pretty sure they're going to talk about Kevin Durant. Thank you so much, Chris. Something is building here in Brooklyn. The team is following the lead of the head coach, Jock Vaughn, and you can feel it in the way that we've seen the effort and the execution and the attention to detail, and it's now showing up on the scoreboard. That's five straight wins here at Barclays Center. And anytime there's a bit of a slippage, we see a timeout. Yes. Jacques Vaughn having a great feel of how to get everyone back together, and so much of what this has been is a product of defensive stops, allowing to get some runouts, ball sharing, the amount of assists. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving put up the big numbers in terms of points, but we saw some very, very impactful plays in fact, impactful buckets from everyone collectively. And I think you, you feel that energy and the understanding that everyone needs to play a part, play a role, and there's been a better understanding of staying ready, regardless of what it looks like, what the team looks like, just some smart moves, too, in terms of matchups, going big, going small. You like how Jack Vaughn pushed the buttons, especially down the stretch, and the team responded. And limiting the turnovers, another huge key for Brooklyn. Obviously, every head coach is looking for that, trying to cut down on the mistakes but in particular tonight the Nets were very careful with the basketball and there was a cohesiveness yeah, the other part of the equation too for Brooklyn right now you don't know who's going to play and that means everybody's got to be ready and we've seen that Cam Thomas in the second half he did not log a minute in the first half comes in and carries out a role that Chuck Vaughn was looking for. And I think it's just knowing that that opportunity may come at different points throughout the course of the game, may come at different points throughout the course of the season. But now I think they're starting to understand top to bottom of systematically how this group wants to yeah. play, what's expected in terms of roles, the switching nature of the defense, communication, where to be moving on a string, and also offense 
offensively, uh, the sets, the play calling, the nuances of the actions that are taking place, the chemistry continues to build, and that's a part of it, especially with changing lineups, new group, players being in and out, and I think the more that that continuity builds, it, it's an opportunity for Brooklyn, quite frankly, to being here at home during this stretch of time. And I think you just nailed it. Toronto's coming up on Friday night. When you looked at the schedule before this season started, we knew this would be a very important stretch. Got to take care of business on your home floor. The Nets didn't do that last year, and that became an issue come playoff time where they needed to summon something against Boston. They just couldn't do it. That's important to establish it. Nets are starting to do that now. And, and the uptick continues. It's Toronto. It's Boston coming out on Sunday. The team that's probably playing the best in the yep. NBA right now. And, and when it comes to Toronto, they got some healthy bodies back that to, that uh, Brooklyn did not see when they were up in Canada just the other week. But regardless of who's on the floor, again, it comes back to the understanding of how this group wants to play. And when you have one of the best basketball players on the planet and Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving to go along with it, the rest of the crew, you've got to understand understand that regardless of opponent they're going to come and bring your best and I think the Nets are starting to realize that and starting to come with the requisite level of energy and attention to detail. Some magical moments from Durant and Irving but great team victory here for Brooklyn. We send it back to you Chris. Hi and Sarah thank you very much. There are four games left for Brooklyn on its current homestand after Friday's matchup with Toronto they will face Boston. Charlotte 500 for the first time this season, courtesy of their first three-game winning streak of the season, as we just heard Ian say as well at Barclays Center. They have won their last five straight at home. Let's see how they sealed the deal tonight against the Wizards. Down the stretch here in the fourth streak this season, as we mentioned, and 12-11 and 11 record, 6-2 and two in their last eight, and of course... It's their first time being over 500 this year. Tonight's win featured more brilliance from Kevin Durant. If the Nets continue their surge, perhaps we'll hear his name in MVP talk as the season moves down the line. Now, Durant himself recently said, been there, done that when it comes to MVP. But that certainly will not stop us from praising his excellence. He hit the ground running by scoring 16 points in the first quarter. His highest total in the first this year. It's the highest total for any net in the first. Then after he sat for a chunk of time in the second and scored a few more points just before the game reached halftime, Durant picked things up right after the break and put together another quarter of double-digit points in the third. He scored 10. Eight came in the last 247 of the second. He helped Brooklyn hold off Washington for the victory, giving the Nets another win over the Wizards after they previously beat them in D.C. November 4th. KD fell a rebound shy of a triple-double in that game. While his rebounding and assist totals were not as big this, this evening against the Wizards, the points were flowing, and Jacques Vaughn loved it as much as Durant himself. We take a look at the easy money sniper over his last three games. He's only shooting 69% from the field during this homestand and averaging 38.1 points per game. And oh, by the way, his three-point percentage has dipped a little bit this season, but during this homestand, shooting 57% from downtown, he's 8 for 14. Kevin Durant absolutely resuscitating this net squad.